liberty peeps how are you all doing i hope you're having a fantastic day um if you're new to the channel my name's marie welcome 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 if you're a regular returner you'll know all about this already but i'm just going to go through the christmas hamper how did we save for our christmas hamper and how's it going how are we how are we spending our money what's on our shopping list what have we found where are the bargains all of that kind of thing so if you're in the process of getting together your christmas hamper and want to know where the bargains are then stick stick with us and i'll share everything with you <laughs> everything so far so we started off our Christmas hamper with this binder okay so what I planned to do in this binder was save 20 pound a month and whatever was left out of my shopping money in the hope that I would eventually get 250 pounds savings so I created this little savings tracker and on the back as you can see we did it it's upside down as you can see we did achieve it um I made the denominations quite smallish and worked it out so this would save 250 pounds which is there okay so what i did was i thought well if i save 20 pound a month which is what i can afford out of at the time hobby's wages how much would that be over a whole year so 20 times 12 equals 240 pounds that's more or less my 250 pound anyway however i think i wanted to finish my christmas hamper savings around about the October time because that's when um, I find they start bringing in the offers into the shops uh, regarding Christmas like get this get this turkey now or get this this now or whatever and it's highly reduced prices however if you wait till sort of the December period you're going to be paying through the nose because everything shoots up in price at that point. You're like, you know, you're buying the last turkey, which is like 40 to 70 quid. And yeah, expensive. So I thought, no, I'm not going to pay expensive this year in December. I want it all, you know, my money saved up by the October so I can make take advantage of the lower costs. So that's what we did. So obviously, I can't remember the exact date I started this, but it was finished Um before the October came around. So there we go. So that was the savings tracker. And I, I took the money out. As we're saving for our Easter hamper now, I should put the dates down that I start these things. Our Easter hamper's 250. And we're doing exactly the same again for Easter. So I want this saved up by March. I don't know whether I want to achieve it, but we're gonna we're gonna try. And again, I'm saving um just out of my, my shopping money this time because I haven't got a little bit each month at the moment because Obby's not working. But when he hopefully gets another job, I'll be saving a little bit each month again so to boost it up. So trying to save that again for the Easter hamper. So going back to Christmas. So we got our 250 quid and we took it out of the binder. So that's what, what we did. And we put the money in this old <laughs> broken packet that I had from previous Christmas, um, which I sellotaped up because it ripped and one thing or another. Pop the money in here. And I went off shopping, not really with a plan or a list or anything like that. I sort of knew roughly what I was going to buy because it's what I buy every year, more or less. You know, I, I know I needed a turkey. I know my husband likes his whiskey and his vodka. And I know I like my Tia Maria and my mulled wine, you know, all those kind of niceties. So I went out and I thought, I'll get what I can on offer and I'll keep the receipt, put the receipt in here and keep the money totally separate in this packet so I don't get mixed up with my day-to-day -day money and ended up end up spending it on something else. So that's what I did. So um, some of the receipts, I've, I've, I've failed in keeping the receipts because I bought them in with my regular shopping. So that receipt went in my regular shopping and I've subsequently thrown it away because it had a, an entry on say, to say one item. So I've, I've took that one item off my shopping bill because I, I report my shopping in my tracker every week and took the money out of here. But obviously I've put that receipt in with my shopping in my ordinary binder and then when I've cleared my receipts out, that's gone in the bin. So hence I've, I've not got all of my receipts, but I've got some of them where I've literally gone out and only shopped for my hamper. So let's go back. Uh, where am I? My shopping, I was ordinary shopping in... in um, Morrison's and my my Christmas shopping started on the 2nd of August so I borrowed the money out of the bank because this wasn't ready to the October and I saw the offer on Tia Maria at only £13 and I thought okay I'm just going to borrow that and put it back in so I've, I've managed to do that and put it back in and the offer was on 
uh, Tia Maria liqueur, thirteen pounds, and um, hubby had a bit of lager that day. By the look of it, that hasn't come out of my hamper money. That was out of my ordinary bill money. I shouldn't have gone on this list. I think hubby got the. I said to him, separate the stuff out for me so I can keep that Christmas stuff separate. But that obviously went in the wrong one. <laughs> So there we go. Tia Maria, £13. Now, I have seen it. I've looked it up last night to see, well, if I bought it now, would I get a better offer? And yes, I would have done. I'd have got it for £12 because at the moment they've got it on offer in Tesco um, for £12 with your uh, Tesco Club card. So that, that offer's on for a short time, guys. Have a look. Here's the picture. Go and get your bargain. Go and get your bargain if you like Tia Maria. I'm not forcing you to go drinking or anything. <laughs> so then... Um, Again, I saw amazing offer on duck and bake, bacon and pork leg. Here's a picture of what I found. It was on yellow sticker. And I thought, does it really matter if it's on yellow sticker or I buy it like pristine? Because at the end of the day, it's still nice for the Christmas hamper. It's, it's not something I thought of buying for the Christmas hamper. But I thought, you know what, duck and pork over Christmas, that'd be nice, that would. And as it was on offer and the bacon was on offer, I thought, oh, I could do pigs in blankets with the bacon. And we could have bacon and eggs on a Sunday morning over Christmas. That would be lovely. So I bought it. So that bill that day came to £20.95. The ducks were £5.55 on reduced. The pork leg was £4.9 on reduced. So I got two ducks, the pork leg, and a couple of them bacon, as you can see, for £2.88 a packet. So that's the money I've been sort of borrowing out of my buffer in the bank. And then I put it back as soon as my um, money was finished in this binder. So then we went, we've, we've obviously, I'll show you the list of items that we bought. You can take a screenshot. This is our what we bought all along and the dates we bought it and the shops we bought it from. Um, you can see there the money we've paid for each of the items as we've been going along. Okay, <laughs> so that's what we spent so far. Um, there should be 200, sorry, £102.16 p left on that. Um, so we started with the 250 as you can see there I got the turkey from farm foods for £7.99 that's sitting nicely in the freezer I'm not bothered about having a fresh turkey um, fresh meat I know it probably tastes better and nicer and all the rest of it but I've always had frozen meat never really had fresh chickens or fresh anything so I'm, I'm happy with frozen frozen meat um, you'll see there I got the whiskey and uh, which was Bell's whiskey on offer uh, for £16 and hubby likes his, his uh, vodka so I, was, I managed to get him, a, these are litre bottles, a litre of Smirnoff there for £16 which I thought was bargain. If you find it any cheaper go on brag to me I'll let you. <laughs> you could go no no I got it for this. <laughs> um, so yeah one thing I have found going back to my shopping list is I did go to Aldi and get some matchmakers and some after eights to go in the hamper. Now you can see there the mint um, after eights, oh, sorry, the mint matchmakers were £1.35. And in doing my shopping lists, I've realised that when you go out buying your hamper, I don't know whether this happens to you or not, but I've seen that this year for the first time, it's happening to me. I'm buying things twice, um, not realising I've already bought it because I'm forgetting what I've got. So being more organised with this list, <laughs> I can see there, not only did I buy it twice, but I bought it once at £1.35 and once at £1.50. So how silly am I? So I'm not making the saving there that I wanted to make. So what I need to do is create my shopping list. And before I go, research my shopping list with all of the different shops to find out where the bargain actually is so I can go and get that bargain. So I've created... The shopping list and the ones I've greyed out are the ones the items I've already got, and the ones that are in um, not greyed out are the items I still need to buy. And there's an awful lot, as you can see, that I still need to buy with my one hundred and two pound sixteen balance that I've got in my wallet. So yeah, <laughs> can I make it happen? Because I I do want to stick to my budget of my hamper, um. It is a big budget, £250 for a hamper for two people. But I'm hoping that ha that this hamper, not only does it see us through Christmas, but it lasts us meat-wise until March, um, when my next hamper, my Easter hamper, will then become available to restock our freezer with the meat. 
So that is the plan. So this £250, yes, it's to get our Christmas bits and bobs, but it's also to provide us with enough meat on offer to try and last us through till March. Whether that will happen, I'll probably have to top up with chicken week to week because I don't mind buying chicken week to week or a bit of ham week to week. But, you know, the main bulk of the meat, I would like it to last through till March. So that's the reason why I've got such a big amount, £250. That's a lot of money to us. That is five weeks shopping money to us because we, sorry, at the moment, because we're on emergency budget, we have £50 a week. So that is five weeks shopping money. So that to us is a lot of money. To you, it might be, oh, that's just a, a dinner out. <laughs> you might be rich. I don't know. <laughs> well, what I consider to be rich. But yeah, so that is our sort of hamper um, workings, savings, spending. So let's have a look just to make sure I've got the right amount left in our in our little wallets. I should have. Stay. <laughs> Stay. Right, let's open it up. But yeah, I've been going out and I've been, you know, putting the money. Sometimes I've spent the money out of the money I've had in my wallet. I've borrowed it out of, uh, you know, how can I put it? I borrowed it out of the petrol money is what I'm trying to say. And I've said, oh, I've seen that for the, the, the amper. I'll just take it out of the petrol money. And when I've come back, I've took it out of here and put it back into the petrol money. So hence again, um, the receipts and everything. So, but all in all, this is what I've got left because I've added it all up and that's my hamper and this is what I've got left. So let's count it. So there's 20, 40, 60, 80, 90, 100 and one, two pounds and 10 Two, four, sixteen. So one hundred and two pounds sixteen is left to buy all of the remaining item remaining items on my shopping list. So that is the plan, and I'd like to complete that Christmas shopping before. I would like to complete it before the end of November. So everything is here, done and dusted, before the first of before the first of December. And I know they're going to have offers on in December. Um, and if I if I want those offers, I might be able to stretch to the amount of my regular shopping money. But at the moment, I'd like to finish this shopping list that I've got here by the end of November. So that's my goal for now. So that's how we save for our amper. That's how we're spending on our amper. Have you got anything I've missed? Have I missed anything that I need for Christmas? Have I, anything you would suggest? I've never tried lobster. I've always wanted to, but it's always been quite expensive lobster tails. And I feel very guilty for God knows what reason. You know, the way they're cooked, I think, is the yeah the, the way they're cooked is why I feel guilty for lobsters. And I've re refrained from ever eating it. So I choose prawns instead. I have a prawn ring. Um, I love prawns. Um, but yeah, I would like to try lobster one day, even if it's just a tiny little taste, but I feel so guilty doing it. Don't ask me why, but hey-ho. But what do you buy? What do you put in your amper? You know, what do you really love for Christmas? You've got to say, oh, Christmas isn't Christmas unless I've got a, <laughs> unless we've got some. Fill in the blanks in the comments. Let me know what makes your Christmas, you know, whether it's food, you know, chestnuts, walnuts, whatever it is. Let me know. Let me know what uh, what makes your Christmas Christmas. Um, and yeah, all about food. This is, by the way, obviously, you know, the family, the people and everything else make Christmas Christmas. But I'm on about food this time. What makes your Christmas food wise? Let me know in the comments below. That's brilliant. OK, <laughs> I'd love to hear what you drool over for Christmas if you lush. And I'd be like, oh, I've never tried that. You know, dates. Some people like dates, don't they? I've never thought of figs and uh, yeah, all that kind of thing. Let me know. Let me know what makes your Christmas. Anyhow, I'm going to love and leave you there. I'm going to be back tomorrow when I'm going to share with you a story of when we, we, we struggled for Christmas. How did we get our kids Christmas presents with no money? We literally had no money. And I'm going to share that story with you tomorrow. Um. Yeah, it makes me cry, so be be prepared. <laughs> I might have a little bit of a snivel. But yeah, um it's it's one of those rags to riches story and you the the ending is just like amazing. So if you want to share that story, I'm gonna share it with you. And maybe you've got your own rags to riches tales you might want to share with us. But yeah, I'll share that with you tomorrow. And hopefully if you're struggling out there right now for Christmas presents for your kiddies, it's it's definitely one you don't want to miss because maybe you could get their Christmas presents for zero money as well and I'm not talking about begging I'm not talking about 
you know, asking family members, I'm talking about doing this on your own. Okay. I'll show you how <laughs> tomorrow. I'll publish the video tomorrow at 6 p.m. Make sure you're tuned in and you can you can find out and hopefully it's going to help you too like it helped me. Anyway, for now, I'm going to love and leave you. So thank you, thank you, thank you for watching. Ciao for now. Don't forget to comment. Ciao for now. <laughs>